In mathematics, a metric or distance function is a function that defines a distance between each pair of elements of a set. A set with a metric is called a metric space. A metric induces a topology on a set, but not all topologies can be generated by a metric. A topological space whose topology can be described by a metric is called metrizable. In differential geometry, the word metric may refer to a bilinear form that may be defined from the tangent vectors of a differentiable manifold onto a scalar, allowing distances along curves to be determined through integration. It is more properly termed a metric tensor. Definition a metric on a set X is a function d, X times X, 0, infinity, where, 0, infinity, is the set of non-negative real numbers, and for all X, Y, Z in X, the following conditions are satisfied. Conditions 1 and 2 together define a positive definite function. The first condition is implied by the others. A metric is called an ultrametric if it satisfies the following stronger version of the triangle inequality where points can never fall between other points. D max, D for all X, Y, Z in X. A metric D on X is called intrinsic if any two points X and Y in X can be joined by a curve with length arbitrarily close to D. For sets on which an addition plus x times x x is defined, d is called a translation invariant metric if d equals d for all x, y and are in x. Examples. The discrete metric. If x equals y then d equals 0. Otherwise, d equals 1. The Euclidean metric is translation and rotation invariant. The taxicab metric is translation invariant. More generally, any metric induced by a norm is translation invariant. If is a sequence of seminorms defining a topological vector space E, then, is a metric defining the same topology. Graph metric, a metric defined in terms of distances in a certain graph. The Hamming distance encoding theory. Riemannian metric, a type of metric function that is appropriate to impose on any differentiable manifold. For any such manifold, one chooses at each point P a symmetric, positive definite, bilinear form L. Tp times Tp on the tangent space Tp at P, doing so in a smooth manner. This form determines the length of any tangent vector V on the manifold, via the definition, V, equals square root L. Then for any differentiable path on the manifold, its length is defined as the integral of the length of the tangent vector to the path at any point, where the integration is done with respect to the path parameter. Finally, to get a metric defined on any pair x, y of points of the manifold, one takes the infimum over all paths from x to y of the set of path lengths. A smooth manifold equipped with a Riemannian metric is called the Riemannian manifold, the Fubini study metric on complex projective space. This is an example of a Riemannian metric. Equivalence of metrics for a given set X, two metrics D1 and D2 are called topologically equivalent if the identity mapping id is a homeomorphism. For example, if is a metric, then an a metrics equivalent to see also notions of metric space equivalents. Metrics on vector spaces. Norms on vector spaces are equivalent to certain metrics, namely homogeneous, translation invariant ones. In other words, every norm determines a metric, and some metrics determine a norm. Given a normed vector space we can define a metric on X by. The metric D is said to be induced by the norm. Conversely if a metric D on a vector space X satisfies the properties, then we can define a norm on X by similarly, a seminorm induces a pseudometric, and a homogeneous. Translation invariant pseudometric induces a seminorm. Metrics on multisets. We can generalize the notion of a metric from a distance between two elements to a distance between two non-empty finite multisets of elements. A multiset is a generalization of the notion of a set such that an element can occur more than once. 
Define if is the multiset consisting of the elements of the multisets and, that is, it occurs once in and once in then it occurs twice in. A distance function on the set of non-empty finite multisets is a metric if if all elements of are equal and otherwise, that is, is invariant under all permutations of. Note that the familiar metric between two elements results if the multiset has two elements in one and two and the multisets have one element each in three. For instance if consists of two occurrences of then according to one. A simple example is the set of all non-empty finite multisets of integers with more complex examples are information distance in multisets and normalized compression distance in multisets. Generalized metrics. There are numerous ways of relaxing the axioms of metrics, giving rise to various notions of generalized metric spaces. These generalizations can also be combined. The terminology used to describe them is not completely standardized. Most notably, in functional analysis pseudometrics often come from seminorms on vector spaces, and so it is natural to call them semimetrics. This conflicts with the use of the term in topology. Extended metrics semorphers allow the distance function d to attain the value infinity, i.e., distances are non-negative numbers on the extended real number line. Such a function is called an extended metric or infinity metric. Every extended metric can be transformed to a finite metric such that the metric spaces are equivalent as far as notions of topology are concerned. This can be done using a subadditive monotonically increasing bounded function which is zero at zero, e.g., d equals d, or d equals min. The requirement that the metric take values in zero infinity can even be relaxed to consider metrics with values in other directed sets. The reformulation of the axioms in this case leads to the construction of uniform spaces. Topological spaces with an abstract structure enabling one to compare the local topologies of different points. Pseudometrics A pseudometric on X is a function D. X times XR which satisfies the axioms for a metric, except that instead of the second only D equals zero for all X is required. In other words, the axioms for a pseudometric are D zero, D equals zero, D equals D. D D plus D. In some contexts, pseudometrics are referred to as semimetrics because of their relation to seminorms. Causometrics occasionally. A causometric is defined as a function that satisfies all axioms for a metric with the possible exception of symmetry. D0. D equals 0 if and only if x equals y. D equals D. D D plus D. Causometrics are common in real life. For example, given a set X of mountain villages, the typical walking times between elements of X form a causometric because travel uphill takes longer than travel downhill. Another example is a taxi cab geometry topology having one-way streets, where a path from point A to point B comprises a different set of streets than a path from B to A. Nevertheless, this notion is rarely used in mathematics, and its name is not entirely standardized. A causometric on the rails can be defined by setting d equals x minus y if x y and d equals 1 otherwise. The first of may be replaced by infinity or by. The topological space underlying this causometric space is the sorgon-free line. This space describes the process of filing down a metal stick. It is easy to reduce its size, but it is difficult or impossible to grow it. If D is a causometric on X, a metric D on X can be formed by taking D equals one half plus D. Metametrics in a metametric, all the axioms of a metric are satisfied except that the distance between identical points is not necessarily zero. In other words, the axioms for a metametric are D zero. D equals zero implies X equals Y. D equals D. D D plus D. Metametrics appear in the study of Brom of hyperbolic metric spaces and their boundaries. The visual metametric on such a space satisfies D equals zero for points X on the boundary. 
but otherwise d is approximately the distance from x to the boundary. Metametrics were first defined by UC Vijala. Semimetrics A semimetric on x is a function d. x times xr that satisfies the first three axioms, but not necessarily the triangle inequality. d0, d equals 0 if and only if x equals y, d equals d. Some authors work with a weaker form of the triangle inequality, such as d rho plus d, d rho max, d. Semimetrics satisfying these equivalent conditions have sometimes been referred to as causimetrics, neometrics, or inframetrics. The rho inframetric inequalities were introduced to model round-trip delay times in the Internet. The triangle inequality implies the two inframetric inequality, and the ultrametric inequality is exactly the one inframetric inequality. Premetrics relaxing the last three axioms leads to the notion of a premetric, i.e., a function satisfying the following conditions. d0, d equals 0. This is not a standard term. Sometimes it is used to refer to other generalizations of metrics such as pseudosemimetrics or pseudometrics. In translations of Russian books it sometimes appears as premetric. Any premetric gives rise to a topology as follows. For a positive real ad, the open R ball centered at a point P is defined as BR equals X D less than R. A set is called open if for any point P in the set there is an open R ball centered at P which is contained in the set. Every premetric space is a topological space, and in fact a sequential space. In general, the open R balls themselves need not be open sets with respect to this topology. As for metrics, the distance between two sets A and B is defined as D equals INFX A, YBD. This defines a premetric on the power set of a premetric space. If we start with a metric space, we get a pseudo-semimetric, i.e., a symmetric premetric. Any premetric gives rise to a preclosure operator CL as follows. CL equals x, d equals 0. Pseudocausa metrics the prefixes pseudo, quasi and semi can also be combined, e.g., a pseudocausa metric relaxes both the indiscernibility axiom and the symmetry axiom and is simply a premetric satisfying the triangle inequality. For pseudocausa metric spaces the open R balls form a basis of open sets. A very basic example of a pseudocausa metric space is the set 0, 1, with the premetric given by d equals 1 and d equals 0. The associated topological space is the Sierpinski space. Sets equipped with an extended pseudocausa metric were studied by William Lava as generalized metric spaces. From a categorical point of view, the extended pseudometric spaces and the extended pseudocausometric spaces, along with their corresponding non-expansive maps, are the best behaved of the metric space categories. One can take arbitrary products and coproducts and form quotient objects within the given category. If one drops extended, one can only take finite products and coproducts. If one drops pseudo, one cannot take quotients. Approach spaces are a generalization of metric spaces that maintains these good categorical properties. Important cases of generalized metrics in differential geometry, one considers a metric tensor, which can be thought of as an infinitesimal quadratic metric function. This is defined as a non-degenerate symmetric bilinear form on the tangent space of a manifold with an appropriate differentiability requirement. While these are not metric functions as defined in this article, they induce what is called a pseudo-semimetric function by integration of its square root along a path through the manifold. If one imposes the positive definiteness requirement of an inner product on the metric tensor, this restricts to the case of a Riemannian manifold, and the path integration yields a metric. In general relativity the related concept is a metric tensor which expresses the structure of a pseudo-Riemannian manifold. Though the term metric is used in cosmology, 
The fundamental idea is different because there are non-zero null vectors in the tangent space of these manifolds. This generalized view of metrics, in which zero distance does not imply identity, has crept into some mathematical writing too.